uh, we are coming back to the networking okay and uh, today we will see the threads uh, what else is there yesterday we have seen up to phishing and all phishing and uh, denial of service attack today also we will go with some of the security threat that may happen with us uh, in the field of uh, networking or connecting pages with pages and all all right so now today is coming to the hackers and crackers okay so it is a great threat to have this world today's world in the cyber world we can say so in text of computer security uh, in context of computer security, a hacker is someone who seeks and exploits weaknesses in computer system or computer network. Means it actually finds the vulnerability of the operating system. Okay, from where the particular information can be taken out. Uh, so extract the information. Okay, uh, illegally you can say. Okay. Uh, clear so hackers may be motivated by various reasons such as profit protest or challenge also sometimes they're challenging also whether there are expert computer programs who can break the security to gain the computing resources and may exploit privacy that is the thing so now what happens uh, big organizations like nasa and who okay uh, unicef un united nations okay these companies what are these organizations or institutions what they do sometimes to check the um uh, uh, to check the uh, how uh, to check how strong is their security system okay they are sometimes also um, uh, uh, take the hackers in hand okay and just give them the assignment in order to uh, in order to go inside the system okay so they are just that is a challenge for them actually to the hackers the whether they crack it or not so in that way they can check their security also sometimes this is actually a, a exclusively for on the experimental basis this is not a stealing and all this is just for the experiment all right so but some hackers are there they are for their profit and um, for their profit also sometimes to take the revenge okay on some system okay on some particular country okay hackers are also being uh, appointed okay that is the thing so they are expert computer programmers okay they know each and every um, loopholes each and every um, each and every type of uh, vulnerability okay of the computer system so a white hat hacker, hacker and a black hat, a black hat hacker okay uh, there are two types of there in the hacking community uh the white hat hacker breaks security for non-malicious reason okay they, they don't have any interest they just check it out for their experimental basis on their um, uh, to check how uh, strong they are that is something that is exclusively for learning purposes okay the time white refers to an ethical hacker you can say ethical hacking means that uh, they will not do it for the basis of the, the basis of the profit or harm they will just check their knowledge about the computer system okay a black attacker is a hacker who violates the computer security for maliciousness or for personal gain okay they are having their interest okay onto the profit okay they can make okay by hacking data and all okay they are taking the data and they are selling in the dark way uh, that is the thing so black attackers can crack password or secure uh, networks uh, to destroy or theft of data can may happen also may, they can make the network unusable okay you have read last time that denial of service attack that also can be done by uh, this uh, black hackers okay as they refer to as crackers also because they are actually cracking the vulnerabilities and the securities provided by a system or the system programmers okay into that particular system okay and they do not notify the general public or manufacturer for its correction also they are just uh, making the harm of the system they are just um, they are just uh, crashing the system they are they are having their own interest they are having their own profit they are uh, they are uh, uh, their particular um, <coughs> aim is to uh, is to crash the system that is the thing so uh, the system owner or the organization will not be able to recover any kind of data so in that way uh, they are actually uh, that is they are actually aim you can say okay that's what they do these are the that's what the two, two communities of hackers are there white hat and black hat hackers all right that is the thing okay now the thing is that malicious program threats okay how many types are there that is the virus okay uh, vital information has been stored and seized. This is called virus. Okay, computer viruses as malicious and the self-replicating codes programs means whenever they are going into the system, they are replicating themselves. Okay, 
So that is what the virus, okay, that caused damage to data and files on the computer system. Some viruses codes have been given, um, have been put inside by some means into the computer system, maybe by some attractive games, by some attractive pictures and all. So it may happen that first of all, we cannot understand anything, okay, that having that virus may be, may infect our machine on a particular day or a particular date or in a particular time also. Okay, sometimes instantly they do. Okay, that is the thing. So this is what the virus actually. So in one word, virus is a malicious program that actually crashed the system. That is called virus. Okay, one means write once, read many. That is called worm. Okay, it is also a self-replicating program. Uh, it actually um, it's of the entire disk space or memory. It copies itself. It changes the files. Okay, until the disk space or memory is totally filled. So actually, there will be no space to run the software when the memory will be totally filled. Or sometimes what they do, they are just copying the files and they are just compressing the files and make it into a single volume. Okay, so the files will be uh, files will be very much um, uh, just like. It will not be people will not be able to access the files access their files okay so the system may not run okay in that case so that's what the worm actually it will not um, totally crash the system but it will create or cause problem in order to run other software also okay Trojan horse it is like actually it will remain hidden okay strictly it will just uh, take out the information okay it is like an utility program also okay it remains appear harmless okay uh, but actually perform some malicious functions such as deleting da damaging files copying important information and sending it to the server in that way also trojan may be active in your system so that's why you have to keep a good internet security software into your system that can catch this trojan sometimes these trojans are also very um, clever so it is very difficult to catch okay spyware means that it is just spying into the computer system and to uh, take the important data out of the system okay see uh, that is the thing so this um, uh, when the spying program is inserted into a machine and uh, and this what is happening this is actually get installed in the system without the consent of the user or gets downloaded from the websites on internet okay Spyware is a program and designed to spy on your activities. What actually you do? Where, which, what kind of files? What kind of websites do normally you visit? And report this data to the people willing to pay it either legal or illegal purposes. Okay, that is what the spyware program does. Okay, adware means that unwanted ads and all are coming. You will see sometimes you will, you will see that web push notifications appears. Okay, from the um, right hand bottom corner of the um, of your computer screen when the internet is on okay uh, clear so the those kind of things are actually adware adware are the programs that deliver unwanted ads okay to your computer in the pop-up form that is called web push notifications also the modern name is web push notifications the consume network bandwidth okay it is similar to the spyware but may install with your consent okay it may ask you that whether you want this or not this particular products or not okay first but their pop-ups will be remain that will be shown without your consent only but whether you will install it or not it may ask you the permission for that okay that's what the advice says clear now the thing is that we're coming to the next part network security principles okay what is the thing the entire computer network security is based on some safeguards designed to protect a computer system from threats okay this is called active protection okay active protection means installation of programs and firewall for protection against viruses spyware adware and pc intrusion okay intrusion means without any consent of the user okay any uh, someone has entered into the machine virtually all right that is the thing so adware and pc intrusion is uh, sorry pc intrusion is of that kind all right Preventive measures, you should uh, offer some preventive measures to avoid uh, such happenings you should do. Means like in that case, you may install the same thing, the active protection you have to look for. Okay, so you should offer some preventive measures, either you active your firewall properly, okay, or you internet security systems to be very sound. Okay, so these are the things you can take. You should not copy anything or download any uh, unauthenticated, uh, unauthenticated files or any unauthenticated location. All these things you have to be very much careful about okay especially the downloading files from the websites okay that is the thing uh, that is the thing so your machine or system will remain um, sound all right so 
active protection or security tools means like authorization is very important one actually username or login id okay user authorization is very important nowadays you will see whenever you are entering in a bank site and all we have to use some um we have to use some uh, certain we have to answer certain question sometimes the otp comes okay so these are actually the various means of authorization okay username is a code which authorizes user uh, to get computer access or after logging in that is the thing that is very important okay authorization password you should have to keep a valid password or a very um uh, not very easy password uh, okay suppose a b c d one two three four not like that you have to keep a password that you can remember at the same time it will be difficult to crack okay generally username and password in combination is used to provide better security okay so nowadays three four securities are also there okay so you have to answer a question over there suppose some small calculation may be there okay so and uh, then after that you have to give your or um, uh, uh, one time password okay issued by the web server so, and it has been generated uh, um, randomly that is the thing so this kind of thing biometric identifications okay, is also there uh, to provide more strong security a system may have biometric devices to identify a person by unique by biological properties maybe by retina scan or by uh, using the um, um, finger uh, fingerprint scanning all these things okay a voice or face recognition which cannot be transferred or stolen by others okay antivirus and malicious programs are also uh, important um, for malicious programs uh, are also important these programs prevent the system from various malicious programs like virus worms spyware, and frozen horses etc okay and some commonly used antivirus programs are nowadays we are using normally quick kills and all or not on antivirus is also one of the most important uh, and uh, very much validated software you can say okay avast backup is also there their coverage is also good okay so any good uh, program can be chosen or package can be brought into uh, to make our system secure all right that is the thing so active protection security tools are there also file access permission is also over there okay file folders like stored on the computers may have limited access permissions like read modify create and execute permission as for needs of the other users in the network this means that the web server or the web administrator did not will not has not been provided you with all the rights okay may uh, some places may have only reading now you can do only the uh, read the content you cannot modify it some places uh, you cannot create anything or if the right has been given you may create also okay you can only some places you can only execute the particular program code you will not be able to modify it okay so the permissions or rights will be very limited okay sometimes a file may also have password to open or modify okay the contents to provide additional security at file level suppose if you are waiting suppose you are downloading some microsoft word file or document file or excel file in your system so now it will first it will open only in the mode of reading okay so there will be a button enable editing when there when you will click on it you will see that you will be able to edit otherwise you cannot okay so another uh, for another security is captcha what is this captcha captcha means completely automated public turing test to tell the computers and human apart means it actually checks whether the um, input has been given to the um, uh, to for, for entering into the system whether this part is a person is a valid human being or not so that is called captcha so whatever a uh, particular image will appear in this way and you have to type it in the box provided um, uh, box provider so you uh, this text and whatever you are typing must match okay then only you will be able to enter inside the uh, website otherwise not or sorry uh, the um, uh, software system you can say you can enter you can log in into you can rather say which can read by human beings only it's given this line particular which can read by human beings only it ensures that website program is being accessed by human being and not by malicious computer programs okay that is the thing so that's why the capture test is nowadays a very important one while entering into the uh, web, web systems fine that is the thing especially when you are booking the tickets and all okay from some uh, travel website and all banking websites if you want to go inside you need to have this kind of capture test okay that is the thing so now 
we are coming to the next part of this active protection security code a firewall can be a good one okay is a system which acts like a gatekeeper or protect the unwanted access to the computer system it monitors the network access as per rules defined by the network administrator and all requests entering and leaving the lan pass through the firewall okay which examine each and every part of this information and blocks those do not meet the security criteria okay so unwanted programs can easily be um, can easily be obstructed okay by using firewall okay clear it is actually to protect computer or network from unauthorized access that is the purpose of the firewall okay intrusion detection system in a system what is there which identifies various type of intrusions and monitors with the users activities and the network resources it notifies to the authorized authorities it gets of suspicious happenings okay so whenever some attack will be going on into the system okay it will just give you an alert okay something is going to happen in your machine kindly take the protection okay be alert okay it is an advanced system than firewall which provides internal and external users suspicious activities and access for network resources okay means like there are some success there are some suspicious activities are going on into your system this particular thing can be uh, judged or detected by this particular system ma uh, intrusion detection system and it will make alert to the user okay so to take the protection so it will be alert enough and can save their his or her system okay in case of a company or an organization the same thing okay they are also having their intrusion detection system fine so that is the thing so now active protection security tools under the digital signature is also very important okay it is a method for providing the authenticity of a message document or attachment sent through email it is commonly used in financial and legal transactions where forgery and tampering okay it is actually not tampering that is tampering okay of document is possible it works like a valid signature of a person on a document which ensures recipient about authenticity of the document means that user authentication can be done by the digital signature all right and digital certificate is also known as a public key certificate it is also an electronic document it actually it validates the user whether the particular user can use this software program or the login system uh, um, whether he is a validated user or not authenticated user or not that is the things is the line you can see here it verifies and ensures that document belongs to an unauthorized individual or organization okay it verifies that okay if the it is an authorized individual or organization then it is fine otherwise it just denies okay if it is not a very authenticated or an uh, um, uh, authorized individual okay uh, if it is not okay so that is what the digital certificate does hmm cookie means it is the small information text file it actually gathers information and send it to the um, server or web server okay uh, about the person's nature what kind of websites normally he goes in okay he uses okay what are the informations sometimes the user can collect it is the thing it is placed in a system by web server and used by the web browser to provide information about visitor all right so now whenever you are um accessing some websites and all so the cookie you have to keep um uh, active okay means like cookie acceptance has to be there otherwise the website may not open if you are keeping your security level high into your system so you have to keep the security level and to medium and otherwise some website may not be visited because most of the websites once cookie okay they collect cookie that information but that is for the good reason okay not for the bad reason some cookies may violate privacy by transferring that is also there users private data like name and password so cookies should be monitored by accessing website on the internet okay so but most of the cookies are not harmful you can say okay that is the thing so this is a small text file containing information regarding a website preferences and some private data of user means what kind of website normally user wants to see and what kind of data user normally downloads okay that is the thing so those informations are kept in a uh, small text file and has been sent it to the web server all right this is what a cookie actually says fine now the thing is that preventive measures what can we do you can see there is a listing of preventive measures you can see out here okay these are the possible purposes okay install an effective and reliable antivirus and anti spyware program keep your antivirus program updated think twice before downloading anything from the internet so we have already discussed 
be careful while opening emails implement proper security policy okay by using an antivirus or anti adware anti spyware software can be maybe installed in the system use proper file access permissions when it is being shared among users okay uh, so all the users should not modify it whom can, who can modify it the right to him or her only use filtered utility to get spam or junk files junk mails okay so you have the facility in your email box to clear the junk mails and regularly clear it okay and the spam mails also you can block some email addresses by mentioning the email address into the right places of in your inbox keep your email address password safe do not disclose it to anybody install firewall to prevent unauthorized access disable cookies to avoid misuse of private data but you cannot do it entirely otherwise most of the websites may not be visited if you are disable cookies disconnect internet when it is not in use that's why the cookies you have to use okay but whenever you are not using internet all times you don't keep your system into it when you are not using just on the network connection disable your internet connection all right so these are the different ways through, uh, which can be which uh, can be um, uh, adapted uh, in order to um, <coughs> in order to prevent your system from unauthorized access okay these are the preventive measures you may say all right that's it okay so this is the cyber crime and cyber law you can see out here cyber crime is now it is very strong worldwide so do not um, uh, do not uh, violate the cyber laws okay so otherwise it may be a problem okay especially the hacking of computer or hacking the system unethical financial transactions fraud through internet may happen harassment through emails and web messages personally cyber terrorism creation and propagation of virus or worms or trojans all the, all these are called cyber crimes and cyber laws like traditional crimes such as theft fraud forgery defamation and mischief cyber crime also treated as criminal activities and are subject to uh, punish the person concerned okay the information technology act 2000 in india provides legal support to the computer users against cyber crime okay cyber police have the right in respect of all the offenses committed under IT act it also deals and intellectual property rights on internet okay so suppose i have created one software and i have taken the copyright okay you cannot use it you cannot use it unless i permit to do so all right that is the intellectual property rights type of things okay that is a thing so these are the cyber crime and the um, uh, cyber laws um, uh, you can see out here okay not too much uh, in, in very details but these are the particular points that you have to remember okay in field the field of cyber crime and the cyber laws okay this cyber law has been created in order to safeguard the normal users from this kind of um, odd happenings you can say all right that is the thing so this is what the cyber law does clear uh, so now we are coming to the wireless and mobile communication normally we are using this one gsm and all gsm cdma these are the different type of things this is should know it and the uh, whenever we are using we are using the gsm networks normally okay global system for mobile communication it is actually a format okay 80% of the mobile users in the world now you can say 90% even uh, more than 80% people are using the gsm um, communication system okay clear so standard was developed by jplubment for first generation among cellular networks and originally described a digital circuit switched network for voice telephony nowadays it has been used for transferring videos video files okay video chatting everything we are using in the under gsm network and cdma is also a kind of format okay it is actually a very less in cdma actually the security in cdma is very less it's a broad spectrum electromagnetic waves for signaling the wider bandwidth okay and as multiple people and multiple cell phones to be communicated over the same channel to share a bandwidth of frequency okay in cdma technology what is happening data and voice packets are separated using ports then transmitted using a wide frequency range some of the mobile companies they are using mobile service provider they are using for the video conferencing faster video conferencing and you can say but the most popular one is the gsm technology only okay global system for mobile communication okay and this is called port division multiple access full forms and all and you should know the uh, full forms of these acronyms like cdma and gsm all right okay now wireless mobile mobile communication is also there that is a 3g and 4g nowadays we are in the fourth generation wireless service service in after some days 
what will happen the 5g is also going to come but it may have certain security problems in 5g because of its high frequency there can be a hazard in the um, in our habitats as well as in our environment all right so that is the thing so 4g net wireless networks is next step to 3g which is currently the most widespread and high speed wireless services and broadband services can be provided by using the 4g networks okay but present 4g is available in um, limited countries and areas but um, nowadays world's 80 percent area may be covered by using this wireless technology all right that is the thing so now what is happening wireless mobile communication that is the wll wireless in local loop and wi-fi we are using industry wireless fidelity we are using okay like i am actually also transferring the data by using the wi-fi um, uh, wi-fi um, uh, technology all right you can say it's a wireless version of ethernet ethernet is what ethernet means you see it is actually a networking protocol through which the data can be shared among a particular network okay all right so there are um, uh, certain norms of this a02.11 protocol okay over time wi-fi has improved given rise into the different variation of the protocol a02.11 a b all these things all right so this gives us for your knowledge you can um, you can read these things okay you know this uh, this acronyms and all this the full forms and all and what is exactly this one okay and wll technology nowadays used by the bsnls and some other um, uh, companies in order to uh, use their uh, it is actually land phone time network not the mobile network it is working within a circle wireless in local do that's the things okay so it means that the subscriber is connected to the nearest telephone exchange through a radio link okay instead of copper wires okay so the uh, instead of copper wire that is the thing so a uh, land phone you used to see that by using the wires and all we used to use previously but that has been well uh, that has been gone because of this wireless in local loop technology all right that is the thing so coming to the next uh, let's see internet applications in the internet what are the those uh, the other things internet is a network of internet that consists of millions by private public academic business government uh, networks that are linked by various wired, wireless and optical networking technologies actually this is because of this internet the world has become a global village okay global system interconnected compute networks and one word we can say about internet it is uses the tcp ip protocols and uh, and spread it among the several billion users worldwide worldwide the most the modern internet and extension of arpanet advanced research project agency network created by 19 in 1969 by the american department of defense afterwards it has been um, introduced as www by british programmer tim berners lee and they have developed the hypertext and html to create worldwide web okay nowadays the internet carries an extensive range of information resources and services such as the interlinked hypertext documents of the World Wide web the communicational infrastructure to support email chat and transfer of text images audio video uh, animations etc okay clear so that's what the internet is so important nowadays in the world okay that is the thing internet and its application you can see out here what are the applications of internet okay www world wide web or web is a collection of hyperlink pages accessed through web browser program using hypertext transfer protocol all right a web page may contain information in the form of text images audio and video or animation electronic mail is also there you know the fastest mode of communication and the cheapest even all right instant messaging that we are doing normally in whatsapp and all by any chat room you can go inside i like um, uh, facebook light okay facebook messenger ap messenger is also there okay previously we have the internet explorer msn messenger all these things smm and mms also is there okay through which we can uh, send our uh, views or any information um, using the sms or the mms technology okay box messaging service is also there provided by an organization to reach to its users a school can have the bulk messaging uh, capacity or any college or institution to reach the reach to the students or other officials as well okay so these are the uh, services can be provided these are the internet applications okay www World Wide web electronic mail instant messaging and sms and mms okay you can say okay so that is the things clear 
we can do video conferencing as well normally we do it nowadays google meet and all these are all the these things actually google meet previously it was google hangout okay uh, and now it has been transferred into google meet okay voicemail also you can send you can see in the whatsapp you can record your messages okay and you can uh, publish it okay uh, to the uh, among uh, i mean uh, among the group of users or to an intended users or whatever this or uh, whatever um, uh, wherever you want to send i mean and voip voice over internet protocol is also there it is a technology which allows communication between pc and mobile or telephone using internet at very little cost okay in a call center actually um, the um, uh, persons those who are sitting they are uh, detailing about their products and the uh, um, problems of uh, problems uh, created by their product okay when uh, whenever the user reaches to them they are using the voip protocol in order to answer them okay so whenever you are calling for some problem you know, for your mobile network or something happened at your home you, you, uh, maybe a product maybe an ac maybe a microwave oven maybe a chimney if anything if you want to reach over them you have to use the voice over internet protocol okay in your from the telephone only you will call but you, you will be taken to the voip protocol that's what about the uh, networking okay so you must go through all its parts and one part is left that is the web uh, tech, uh, web server and the web pages that we will come um, after this particular part okay so you must go through uh, so these are very important for your exams and all okay and note down from the video okay so whatever it has been shown you presented to you in the form of slides and all okay and information are given in very briefly so so it will be easy for you to access and to Note it down. All right. Thank you.